the number of user accounts which have been exposed in hacks and other data breaches now numbers nearly two times the total population of the earth, every man, every woman, every child, and that, the cra even crazier, only accounts for those that we know about and those that have been reported through one website and service, haveibeenpwned.com. Holy heavens. And now this last week, this last week alone, we have over 3 million accounts which were exposed because of various hacks. And that was just one week. And that was a pretty gosh darn slow week. This is crazy. Uh, just, just to run down it real quick, uh, there was a huge breach at Samsung, Germany, which had 216,000 unique email addresses exposed to hackers. That data was also tied to people's real names, physical addresses, their purchases, and their shipping tracking numbers. Um, also, we had another breach from a website called uh, Q Raved, which is an Indonesian restaurant website, which had almost 1 million email addresses breached. Now, here's the crazy thing. We just found out about that one this week. <laughs> what happened in 2021? We're finding about breaches and leaks all the time that happened last month, last year, a couple years ago. Some of them happened today. You never know. They're constantly rolling in. And again, these are just the ones we're finding out about. Again, the data there included people's name, their phone number, their date of birth, and a hash of their password. Um, the French electronic retailer Boulanger had 967,000 email addresses breached in uh, this last September. Again, that happened last September, just found out about it this week. And that data also included your name, the physical address, your phone number, and not joking, your latitude and longitude. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, did I say 967,000? Sorry, sorry, we meant 2 million. <laughs> Uh, there was a, uh, they had a, uh, an error with one of their, their open source parsing scripts that have I been pwned uses and, uh, and they had to update the script. So it actually properly parsed that file. But yeah, it was actually 2 million out of that particular one. Now, this is just a few of the leaks that got reported last week, which accounts for 3.2 million accounts with emails and names and a lot of them with your latitude and longitude and your order history and oh my word. And this is just from the last week. In fact, this isn't even just the last seven days. This is like the last four and a half days. But this is this just this week. And this was a really slow week. We've had weeks where leaks will come, where, where we'll learn about a hack that included hundreds of millions of accounts right? So some of these weeks are insane. This was a slow, quiet week, and we're still talking about millions, right? More than the entire population of the state of Idaho, plus like a couple other states thrown in, all getting leaked in one week. Or not leaked, but uh, hacked or breached in some way. The numbers are absolutely insane. Uh, from from haveibeenpwned.com, the total number of pwned accounts, as they put it, so accounts that had uh, identifiable material, like your email and your name and whatnot, that came out because of breaches and, and other hacks, now is just shy of 15 billion. What? 15 billion. Now, some of them are from things like uh, big ones, like 500 million Facebook accounts, right? I mean, there's there's been some pretty massive leaks that have occurred, but there's also just a ton of them from small websites, um, uh, people's MailChimp lists and, and all sorts of things get, 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 get published on the dark web and such all the time. The numbers are huge. And just to put that into perspective, there are a little over 8 billion billion humans on earth we're almost at 15 billion accounts 
that have been included in some of these hacks and breaches, which means we are just shy of two accounts for every man, woman, and child on earth included in these hacks and breaches. And it's way worse than that because a lot of people don't have any online accounts in some parts of the world. Holy heavens. And again, these are just the ones we know about. And we're learning about new ones all the time that have happened way in the past. So the number is psychotically larger than this, crazily larger than this. I would I would put good money when all is said and done. I'd say the numbers is at least 10 times this. It's huge, right? These are just the ones we found out about. And and these are just the ones reported through one website. One, one. I mean, it's a popular website, have I been pwned.com, but just the same. That's just one. It's crazy numbers. And I, the reason I bring this up is this is a good time to start talking about again some of the 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 basics here when we're talking about cybersecurity. So these are these are Lunduke's current five rules of cybersecurity, and I think they're worth thinking about right now. Number one. It is impossible to build a 100% secure networked computer system. It's not possible. You can build a pretty secure networked computer system uh, if you put enough into it, and that system is simple enough. The more simple you have a system you have, the easier it becomes to secure it, which brings us to rule number two. The more complex and, and interconnected a system is, the more vulnerable it becomes. Now, this is just an obvious, obvious, simple statement. Anyone who's thought about basic engineering can figure this one out. Anyone who's owned a home can figure this one out. The more windows and doors you have on your house, the more entry points there are into your home. The same is true with a piece of software or an online service. The more features you have, the more points at which your piece of software or your service connects to someone else or can be connected to, the more options there are for someone to breach it, right? So the more complex it gets, the more interconnected and more, more potentially vulnerable your system is. Uh, for example, let's say uh, you have a lock on your front door that is connected via Wi-Fi, and there is now uh, the ability to lock and unlock your door with a smartphone app. There are now a whole lot of new ways for that door to get unlocked. See what I'm saying? Number three, systems are becoming more complex and interconnected at a rapidly increasing rate. All right, it's, it's, it's just shooting through the moon. When you look at how complex most of the standard systems that are getting built right now, the online services, from a from the back end point of view, how they're being built, uh, servers connecting to each other, different virtual machines all over the place, how the network is 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 tying it all together, uh, how the communication is handled, how the SSL certificates are handled, and on and on and on and on. How many libraries are being used, and how many vulnerabilities do they have? Are there network printers on your system, right? The on and on and on. The more complex a system is, the more interconnected a system is, the more vulnerable it becomes. And they're becoming vulnerable and more complex and interconnected at an increasingly rapid rate. The total, the number four, the total number of both systems and accounts is likewise increasing rapidly. So not only are the systems becoming increasingly more vulnerable to attack by design, but the total number of systems is increasing, right? So there are more systems to attack, which means if a vulnerability can be found, it can be multiplied and applied to an increasingly large number of systems. And there's an increasingly large number of systems to attack in the first place. In addition, those systems, especially the more popular ones, have an increasingly large number of total accounts for all of their users. So more accounts, more systems, systems, more reason to hack them, more vulnerability. All of this leads to rule number five. The future, our future, is filled to the brim with an ever-increasing number of system breaches and exposed user data. There is absolutely no way to stop it short of having simpler systems, having less systems, and having less total accounts. There's no magic bullet here. 
right? There's no, oh my gosh, we upgraded our libraries. Oh, we, we upgraded to a new version of SSL, so we're secure now. None of that's going to work. Absolutely none of it's going to work. Best case scenario, absolute best case scenario in the current environment of we have uh, 87 bazillion online services, each have hosting a uh, 100 million user accounts, and each of those online services has, you know, 580 different libraries, all of which have different vulnerabilities in them. Best case scenario is that we stay so on top of it that we lessen the total number of hacks that can occur a little. Best case. Absolute best case is we keep it that the total number of hacks less than it otherwise could be. But eliminating them is not possible. In fact, I don't see it as being possible or even a reasonable goal because it's not doable to get to the point in a, using our current infrastructure and current design styles and engineering methodologies we currently have in place to get to a point where we have less hacks and breaches in the years ahead than we have now. It's going to increase. Unless people stop using so many online services, unless there's less total online services or unless those online services significantly simplify their infrastructure. Those are the only possible routes here to, to in any way reasonably decreasing the number of accounts that get exposed in these hacks. And again, almost twice, uh, any day now, one, one or two really big hacks and the number of pwned accounts uh, will exceed double the population of the earth. We're, we're right, we're right there. <laughs> it's crazy. It's absolutely wild, but that is where we're at. If you hear anyone talking about, you know, cybersecurity and saying, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're cybersecurity experts. We're, we're, we're making bulletproof systems here. No, you're not. There is not a bulletproof system out there. When you look through the list of these companies that have been hacked, it's all of them. It's every significant, every significant online service has been breached or hacked. And if we don't know about the breach or hack yet, it's probably already occurred. We just don't know about it yet. And that's even scarier and worse. Um, it's worth talking about these sorts of things because it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And uh, my, my only suggestion is make things simpler and have less total accounts. But I mean, how many accounts do I have? I'm mean, like, like, I don't know, a couple dozen online accounts at various services. It's crazy. I mean, yeah, I can mitigate that by making sure I'm really good at, you know, having unique passwords and, and, and whatnot for all of them and whatnot. But, uh, you know, that only gets you so far. That mitigates the potential disaster of all these systems uh, getting hacked and breached, but they're still going to get hacked and breached nonstop. That's that's just that's just the way it is. Uh, we we we're all doomed. We're all doomed. We're all doomed. We're all gonna die. Uh, end of the story on that one. Um, <laughs> thank you to the Left Duke Journal subscribers for allowing me to talk about this because it's important and uh, it deserves to be to be talked about. Uh, when we do double, by the way. Uh, the Earth's population in uh, in total known, fairly recent uh, hacked uh, um, services and the accounts exposed in them. Um, I'll let everyone know when we hit that double mark, just because it'll be fun, a fun celebration. Like, yay, we did it two times. <sighs> Go to Lunduke.com, click on some links, sign up for some services. <laughs> Look at all these services. You can sign up for X. You can sign up for uh, Patreon, Locals. Uh, you can get an account over at Rumble or YouTube. So many different options. You could you could cr go to my website and create like five more accounts and, and just help this problem get ever worse. Huh, that was not a good sales pitch, but it's the truth. So I'm going to put it out there. Uh, thank you to all the subscribers who helped make this all possible. I, uh, I really appreciate it absolutely everything that uh that you do to make this doable uh this the, the lunduke journal exists because of you it's it's absolutely fantastic so thank you lunduke.com and with that ladies and gentlemen boys and girls nerds and nerdettes across the <laughs> twice the population i do declare end broadcast